Human trafficking is commonly regarded as the second largest criminal enterprise. Only drugs is uh, higher on the list. A huge issue these days all over Metro Detroit. Well, now there is an unlikely duo trying to fight the ever-growing crime. An Eastern Michigan University professor and a South Lion mother of two. Let's bring in local Ford defender Karen Drew again with more on this unusual pairing. You know, Kim and Devin, you wouldn't really think that they would match up, but this is really a unique combination. It sounds strange, but honestly, they are really raising awareness on the issue of human trafficking in Metro Detroit, how to spot it, and also how to report it. This has something on the way. 36 year old Anita Hopner is a busy mom of two. Where's the orange piece? Yes. But taking care of her three and eight year old is not all that occupies this South Lion mom. It is in the early stages, but it is a healing process for me. I'm a victim of repeated childhood sexual abuse. She's taking the pain of surviving sexual abuse and turning it into something so much more. Something I wished would have happened was if I, like if there was a school program or if someone would have brought something up like this could happen to you and this is what you need to do. So Anita had an idea, use her past to help others, especially in the fight against human trafficking, an issue she heard so much about and wanted to help. This type of behavior already supports human trafficking. Bring in David Manville, a full-time lecturer for Eastern University's social work program. He teaches a class on human trafficking. What to look for, how to identify it, where to report it. Many in the class are studying social work. Others are simply interested in the growing crime. I was surprised when I found out how many trafficking survivors were here on campus. I want to learn more about that, the signs to look for, and how I go about asking questions. When people say, well, why should I really be bothered with it? What they don't understand is that these are somebody's daughters, nieces, somebody's sister that's that's disappeared. This South Lion mom heard about the work David was doing and they decided to unite and form the Sparrow Freedom Project to raise awareness of the issue. So tonight we will be focusing on the hidden world of labor trafficking. Anita is using her contacts in the community and David's knowledge of human trafficking and educating her neighbors with special events like this that was held one recent night at the South Lion Library. I knew very little bit about human trafficking and the human labor aspect of things and I just wanted to find out a little bit more about it. Those in the crowd learn how common human trafficking is in Metro Detroit, the signs and ways they can help. Having him as a mentor um, has been just incredible. So we, we kind of um, are working on this together and it's a very special project. It really is a special project and the thing is they want to get this information out to schools but sometimes schools are hesitant and sure. bringing yeah. in a program about human trafficking so they're kind of doing it on their own and this also ties into the whole missing in Michigan on Saturday because human trafficking victims sure. are missing. Exactly right. So they'll yeah. be having their presence there too. But that's it's the first time she's really talked about it. So you were saying a lot of her friends are just finding out about yeah. this. Yeah I mean she was texting time. me today saying I'm nervous yeah. my story is yeah. coming out there but you've got to give this local mom some credit. I oh, mean no she's doubt. taking her pain and just thinking about everyone else sharing. try to help them. So yeah. Anita, thank you so much yeah, for sharing and we right. will be following what your nonprofit's doing. All right. All right guys.